Hi guys, this is a kind of short tutorial uh, over something I like to call player handling, which is something I see as kind of a fundamental first step on making games on Roblox. So what this is really is a, a script that handles when a player enters and leaves a game and also handles other things like when the player spawns. So those three things, player entering, leaving, and spawning, are the three things I'm going to focus on this. So I'm just going to add a new script called player handling. And I'm going to define those three functions. So I have the player spawn first. Also create player entered. And player left. So none of these functions have to be connected somehow to some event. So in the player service, we have the two events, player added and player removing. So let's uh, set those up first. So again, that players, that player added, connect that to the player entered function. The player added event also passes one argument, which is the player that enters. Uh, as well as this next one I'm going to write out. So player removing and connect that to our player left function. So right now player entered is called when the player enters and player left is called when the player is leaving the server. Player spawn still doesn't do anything. So let's just add in something. So player .name. So to set up our player spawned function, a simple way is to use a character added event. Uh, every player object has this, so I can do player.character added connect. However, player spawned, or the, sorry, the character added event only passes uh, the character as an argument. And in my player spawn event, I want the player and the character. So kind of uh, so to make this work, I'm going to create an anonymous function here. Anonymous function is just a function that's called but isn't really assigned to a variable. So right now I have the car right there, which is the character that spawned, and I'm going to call that event. So player spawned, and then pass the player and the new character. So now player spawned. So player .name has spawned. Player spawned will be called every time the player spawns. If you also wanted to capture when the player died, you could also like find the humanoid and connect the died function to that, but usually in most cases you won't need to do that. So this is kind of the basic setup of any game I make. Uh, I suggest using this as well. It really helps. Uh, it creates just a good fundamental first step to your game to organize things and to handle players leaving an interesting game. And one last thing, uh, a lot of people think player left, you know, what's the point of that? Player left can be used uh, in, in a lot of cases where the player has created something in the game um, that shouldn't be there when he leaves. So for example, if you have a building game and the player is building a bunch of blocks, um, then when he leaves, it's probably best to just delete those blocks. So, if, say every block has assigned uh, has been assigned to that player, then uh, when the player leaves, you can use this function right here, the player left function, and uh, scan through the game and find all the bricks created by that player and just delete those.